2022 is a breakthrough year in the development of Elon Musk's space company. It marks SpaceX's 20th anniversary with countless remarkable milestones. There have never been more rockets launched into orbit than this year, and we can almost see them every week, sometimes even a few times a week. Now, I even wonder if the Star Trek era is approaching. Not only did it overwhelm the world with Falcon 9, it's also made the space industry shake when its monster Falcon Heavy officially returned to the race after a three-year hiatus. And interestingly enough, the company is heading to the end of this year with an epic launch of Starship, SpaceX's most powerful rocket. That launch could change the money-burning industry forever. But SpaceX will continue to push the space industry to new heights in the next year. Indeed, 2023 is expected to be an even more explosive year. And we're looking forward to seeing the first private spacewalk in history in SpaceX's EVA suits during the Polaris Dawn, the first mission in the Polaris program. We'll then see the first Starship launch from the Cape. After, SpaceX's mega constellation Starlink is also expected to reach a new level of capability with its version 2 satellite cluster. To put it simply, SpaceX will take a huge step forward toward its two immense unprecedented space projects. Each will cost billions of dollars, conservatively $5 billion each, and likely significantly more capacity to influence the survival of Musk's space company. Thus, there is a lot to talk about in today's episode. So without any further delays, let's get started. You're watching Great SpaceX. Now let's take a sneak peek at SpaceX's goals in 2023. Billionaire Elon Musk's SpaceX has sought for years to send its towering next-generation rocket system into orbit from the company's private launch facilities in Texas, where it has only launched prototypes of Starship's upper half some 6 miles or 10 kilometers high to demonstrate landing attempts. The company now is targeting early December to launch its giant Starship rocket system into orbit for the first time a pivotal demonstration flight as it aims to fly NASA astronauts to the moon in the next few years. Starbase may have won the battle to launch Starship's first orbital flight, but any missions to Mars may depart from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Musk himself also planned to start shipping Starship rockets to Florida from South Texas next spring. Probably Q2 next year, with vehicles initially transferred by boat from Port of Brownsville to the Cape, he said in response to inquiries via Twitter about launching launch timelines and locations. This further proves that South Texas is no longer seen by Musk as a Mars gateway. As he waited through multiple delays earlier this year in completion of an environmental review required to begin launch operations at Boca Chica, Musk hinted he would set his sights on launching Starship from Cape Canaveral. SpaceX had even started moving forward with building out a Starship launch site at Launch Complex 39A at the Space Center in Florida last year, providing adding another option to the Starbase development and launch compound. For now, SpaceX is reportedly nearing completion of the Starship launch pad at Cape Canaveral. The work might take a few weeks to a few months depending on the pace of work SpaceX is able to continue at this location. With the experience of erecting and integrating Mechazilla towers at Starbase previously, SpaceX should be able to smoothly carry out the same operations in Florida. The SpaceX CEO also set an ambitious goal for Falcon rockets in 2023. In the last in the last 365 days, SpaceX's Falcon rockets have had nearly 60 successful orbital launches. Every launch has required a new second stage, so SpaceX on average has consistently built, shipped, and tested a new Falcon second stage every 6.2 days for more than a year. Thanks to SpaceX's record-breaking 2022 launch cadence, which has resulted in Falcon 9 launching more in one calendar year than any other rocket in history, the Falcon second stage has likely become the most produced orbital rocket stage in decades. Barring surprises, SpaceX is on track to achieve CEO Elon Musk's goal of 60 Falcon launches in 2022. But SpaceX isn't done yet, and the CEO says that the company is targeting up to 100 launches in 2023. To fulfill this goal, SpaceX would need to find a way to launch an average of 8 times per month, an improvement of 33% over the 6 launch months the company appears to be increasingly comfortable with. 
and achieving such an ambitious aim would require extremely inflexible scheduling and leave almost no margin for error. Stacking on top of those challenges, launching 100 times in 2023 would require an extraordinary effort and a good amount of luck, but it's far from impossible. Given the abrupt and impressive progress SpaceX has made and continues to make in 2021 and 22, it's also a reasonable goal. Far from easy, but well within reach with some moderate improvements. Additionally, just weeks after SpaceX's first Falcon Heavy launch in three and a half years, the US Space Force says that the rocket is on track to launch again early next year. The Space Systems Command confirmed that the massive SpaceX rocket's next military launch, USS F-67, was scheduled no earlier than January of 2023. While preparing one Falcon Heavy rocket to launch USS F-67 in January, SpaceX, at least according to customer Viasat, may also be preparing another Falcon Heavy rocket to launch the first Viasat-3 satellite the same month. SpaceX has as many as five Falcon Heavy launches scheduled in 2023, a stark change after more than three years without a single flight. And on top of that, SpaceX will also upgrade its Mega Constellation next year. To date, SpaceX has launched about 3,500 Starlink satellites into orbit. The service had about half a million subscribers as of June, but the service is far from perfect and far from being profitable. To reach truly global and reliable service, SpaceX needs to complete its constellation. This is the Starlink Satellite V2. It represents about 12,000 second-generation satellites that are a bit bulkier than the first edition as they carry more capacity. To launch these into orbit would require about 300 launches of SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket. Although the Falcon 9 is the cheapest and most efficient rocket in the world, that is still a costly proposition. The answer to this conundrum, of course, is the much more massive and fully reusable Starship rocket. A single Starship launch can probably take about 400 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. A fully operational Starship therefore solves many of SpaceX's problems. A flight-ready Starship can begin to derive commercial and government launch revenue and also get Starlink into orbit much more quickly and for much less. So, in 2023, Musk and SpaceX's biggest focus is on proving the capability to land both the booster and upper stage, and then being able to reuse them. Until then, let's hope for the best. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.